Studio Ghibli films. We all know them. They say when you get a glimpse of the crispy animation, beautiful soundtrack, and delightful plots, that you will have truly reached enlightenment. You can start driving with your eyes closed. You will have regrown your receding hairline, and you will have finally, finally gotten a girlfriend. But this sounds a little too good to be true, right? Right? So I went undercover. I watched like five or six of the films, and I mean like I watched these films professionally. I didn't blink, so I didn't miss a quarter of a millisecond of the animation. I didn't breathe because I didn't want the sound of wind, wind to interfere with the soundtrack. I didn't drink or eat, so I didn't have to pause the film for bathroom breaks. So, you're probably wondering, what were the results? Was it just an overhyped children's film, or was it a profound piece of modern art? Well, at this point, I honestly couldn't tell you. So, I had to commence with deep meditation to process what I had just watched. And I mean deep. I almost opened my third eye. But I took multiple factors into consideration, such as art and animation, music and sound design, and just overall story. And after watching the movies, I don't know if I had reached enlightenment, but I definitely felt something. Something that made me feel like a kid again, back when my IQ was 33 and I watched Bubble Guppies. And now, let's ask the question, is that a good thing? Well, I would say so, because it made me realize that a feeling that makes you feel like you have reverted in age and have an IQ of 33 and watch Bubble Guppies makes you appreciate the time when you had no care in the world, when ignorance was bliss, and you could find value in almost anything. The art is detailed and nostalgic and just makes you feel pretty good. The music is exquisite, the plot is interesting, and even if it doesn't always make sense, it doesn't matter. Like, why is everyone such a critic? Sheesh! But to answer the question, if it's overrated, no. Just kidding. But if you are boring, then maybe. Maybe you'll be like, mmm, it wasn't as good as everyone said it was. But if you appreciate animation, nature, nice scenery, a decent soundtrack, you'll find something to like about it. Like anyone can watch it, your grandma, your mom, a four-year-old. And hey, I get it, it's not everyone's thing. People are pretty cynical these days and it, it's hard to enjoy stuff. But overall, I don't think it's overrated because it does pursue a type of art and storytelling that isn't commonly done. So people flow to that and appreciate it. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Tell me what you think down below and see ya.